Zada West in a tattered Chitrali on a rock, kind of like an Ottoman caftan. Yeah. Freak Zado. Mysterious. Black. Bloodshot eyes. Yeah. Rimmed with coal. Recovering from a gunshot wound. Hold up in the bays. Uh, yeah. Up the, up the uh, stairway, huh? Down the mud uh, corridor to the uh, beaded curtain. Last room. The noon cannon is fired from the citadel. That's how Afghanis tell time. And the midday bus to Persia disappears. It's not that far, so they don't have to start out at dawn. Noon's great. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it rounds the scintillating uh, minarets of uh, Sultan Hussar Bakur. Yeah. Turquoise glazed, scintillating crazed. Uh, Zada West, yeah, she keeps a low profile. Mm -hmm. Hauling her large cloth bundle of, uh, well, she, you know what, she disappears into the bazaar, into the covered bazaar, to, to, uh, to that funky shop that specializes in 007 James Bond belt locals. You know, uh, self perpetuating feedback loop. Discarded Western clothes, unlimited hashish, free room of, you know, uh, the Nazim and White Zada West's floor show. Throw away more hashish. Yeah, it's a circular of feedback loop, and this energy loop creates a capitalistic frame of reference within which the white Zalu S of Chitral, she parties every night, maintains her vacation in Harad, as long as they're a lovely heart desires. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What a beautiful woman. And here, uh, whereby uh, she becomes a, a charismatic, stoned out, legendary personality along uh, in historic Herat, in the exotic Afghani oasis town along the main trunk line of the Trail of Hashishan. Hashish Trail. Fame. Hands and knees room. Hashish hospitality, the white Zadu West. Uh, yeah, her fame spreads east. It goes all the way down to Kandahar, up to Kabul, down to Khyber Pass. We're talking Peshawar, Rawalpindi, Old Delhi, up to Kathmandu, down. <laughs> Get down and go. What a hippie freedom bubble. Most historic. Yeah. And back then, uh, again, all across the Hashish Trail, yeah, phew, all the way to Istanbul, Europe, uh, even they're talking about her in San Francisco at the corner of Haight-Ashbury. The famous hands and knees room, now rarely empty. So when Queen Latif of Mastuj, uh, well, when it is empty, she will savor a romantic evening with Bay in his so in his fortified medieval Afghani fortress home. Well, uh, Bay, uh, he he's got the women and kids sleeping in the harem quarters. I mean, you can't have four wives, you know, if you can afford them. <laughs> um, and the kids and well you know the mothers uh, the, the camels you gotta like you're the guy okay well be the guy huh Whew. Um, yeah 
and um, but seductive. Hunky Bale. He guides his uh, white-skinned uh, lover up to the tower, one of the watchtowers in the corner. It's so cool up there. Gets the evening breeze, and he's got a double-wide uh, straw, straw mattress covered in burlap up there. Huh? No worries, huh? Some pillows from Persia. Toss a few bolsters around. Uh, a couple of hookahs up there, yeah. Well, uh, sleep deeply, the white Zaduess of Chitral. I mean, after Sharif, you know, I, she loves a hunky uh, male, a lover, companion, breathing beside her. That's the only way she can really sleep anymore. Uh, well, next auspicious evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nazim parts the beads on the curtain. Two Peace Corps volunteers uh, step in, uh, Samuel and Michael. They're traveling overland from Nepal to Turkey. I mean, they're, they're Peace Corps. They want to keep the adventure going. Um, Zadu flows into her <laughs> well-rehearsed routine. Uh, she fires up hashish hookah, plenty of them. Uh, uh, Nizam appears, uh, fruit bowl, grapes, plums, and oh, Tonight's special, huh? That slices of yellow melon down by the Harrow River, huh? Those melons on there, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, Dezadu narrates a dramatic tale about her smuggling the assassin hashish into Afghanistan, um, followed by the wish, uh, whispered uh, precautionary tale. My German friend Bernard mm -hmm, hung at the Persian border. When they discovered hashish on him. Aware. Under his fingernails. Who would have thought, you know. Uh, well, stoned out Michael, spooked by this uh, human tragedy, as well as touched by the Zadu's awesome mountain Woman? Lifestyle? Because Michael, look. He's always fantasized that he, he, he would go native. But uh, he never had the guts. 